Good day and welcome to our installation rules part 8 video. In this video we talk about special installations or locations which is section 7.1 in your sense and today we are specifically going to talk about bathrooms, showers and spas. Just a note, the general requirements of this part of SANS 10142 are applicable to all subclauses of this clause except where this clause modifies or replaces certain of the general requirements. Bathroom, showers and spas. Note, the particular requirements of this subclause apply to bathtubs, shower basins, and the surrounding zones where the risk of shock is increased by a reduction in body resistance and contact of the body with earth potential. General. The general requirements in this subclause do not apply to an enclosed prefabricated shower cabinet with its own shower basin and drainage system, except in the case of 7.1.3.4. The requirements relating to bathrooms shall apply to a spa installed indoors. If the spa is installed outdoors, the requirements relating to swimming pools shall apply. Electrical equipment, including appliances, although appliances are not covered by this part of SANS 10142, shall not be installed in a bathroom except under the conditions given in Table 7.1. No electrical equipment shall be installed in Zone 0 except in accordance with 7.1.3.2. Note 1. A volume under a bath or indoor spa which cannot be reached without the use of a tool to remove a cover is not considered part of a bathroom. Note 2. For locations that contain baths for medical treatment, special requirements might be necessary. Zones. Note 1. For the purpose of this part of Sense 10142, bathrooms are divided into zones 0, 1, 2, and 3. The dimensions of the boundaries of these zones are measured, taking account of the edge of the container, the walls, and fixed partitions. Note 2. Zone 0, 1, and 2 mentioned in 7.1.2.1 up until 7.1.2.3 bear no relationship to zones 0, 1, 2, 20, 21 and 22 mentioned in SANS 10108 for the classification of hazardous locations. So here we have a look at the zone 0. Zone 0 is the interior of the bathtub or shower or basin. As you can see uh, in the red there, that's the inside or inside of the bath or shower or basin for that matter. Then zone 1. Zone 1 is limited by A, the vertical plane circumscribing the outer edge or 0.2 meter from the inner edge where the ledge is too wide of the bathtub, shower, basin, or for a shower without a basin by the vertical plane 0.6 meter from the shower rows and B, the horizontal 2.5 meter above the bathtub or shower floor. So they indicated in red, basically that's just the outside edge in uh, 2.5 meters above the bathtub. Or in the case of a shower, 0.6 meter above the rows of the shower. So zone 2 is limited by the volume external to zone 1 and the parallel vertical plane 0.6 meter external to zone 1 and the floor and horizontal plane 2.25 meter above the floor. So basically next to zone 1 and from the floor up 2.25 so as we can see in the picture there as well zone 1 stretches a bit further because that's 2.5 meter above the ground whereas zone 2 has a height of 
to 5 meters above floor. Next is zone 3. Zone 3 is limited by the vertical plane external to zone 2 and the parallel vertical plane 2.4 meter external to zone 2 and the floor and horizontal plane 2.25 meter above the floor. As we see in the picture there in the red, zone 3 then same height as zone 2 right next to zone 2 and 0. Point, oh, yeah, 2.4 meter on the vertical plane. Next, protection for safety. Note for the protection of socket outload C 7.1.4.3.1. Okay, so protection by safety extra low voltage. Where the safety extra low voltage is used, whether the nominal voltage protection against direct contact shall be provided. Barriers and enclosures that afford at least the degree of protection IP2X or insulation capable of withstanding a test voltage of 500 volt for one minute. Protection against electric shock. In zone 0, only protection by safety extra low voltage at nominal voltage not exceeding 12 volts is permitted. The safety source being installed outside zone 0. The measures of protection by means of obstacles and by placing equipment out of arms reach are not permitted. The measures of protection by non-conducting location in earth-free equipotential bonding are not permitted. Supplementary equipotential bonding. All accessible conductive parts in zone 1, 2 and 3 that may become alive accidentally, though not norm normally forming part of the electrical circuit, shall be bonded with a local supplementary equipotential bonding conductor except where the conductive parts are protected by insulating covering of it or is otherwise enclosed. The resistance of the earth continuity circuit to earth shall not exceed 0.2 ohms. Selection and erection of electrical equipment. Degrees of protection. Electrical equipment shall have at least the following degrees of protection against ingress of water. In zone 0, IPX7, in zone 1, IPX5, in zone 2, IPX4, in zone 3, IP21, and outside zone 3 in the same room, IP21, except for distribution board, IPX5. Wiring systems. In zones 0 and 1 and 2, wiring systems shall be limited to those necessary for the supply of appliances situated in these zones. Junction boxes are not permitted in zones 0, 1 and 2. Switch gear and control gear. In zones 0, 1 and 2, no switch gear and accessories shall be installed except that emergency push buttons which operate at a safety extra low voltage at nominal voltage not exceeding 12 volts are permitted in zones 1 and 2. Insulating cords of cord operated switches are permitted in zones 1 and 2, provided that the cord operated switch complies with the requirements for switches. See table 4.1. Then in zone 3, socket outlets are permitted only if they are a supplied individually by an isolating transformer that complies with SAN 615582-6 or supplied by safety extra low voltage or protected by an earth leakage protection device with a rated earth leakage tripping current rated or rated residual current not exceeding 30 milliamps. Any switches and socket outlets shall be at a distance of at least 0.6 meter from the door opening of the prefabricated shower cabinet. Where heating elements are installed in the water circulating system of a bath or a spa, the supply to the elements shall be interlocked with a circulating pump.
If a distribution board is installed in a room that contains a fixed bath or a shower, it shall be outside zone 3 and the enclosure shall have a degree of protection of IPX5. Other fixed equipment and heated towel rails. Note, other fixed equipment includes heated towel rails and heating units embedded on the floor. Except in the case of safety extra low voltage, subject to the conditions of 5.8, 7.1.3.2 .1 and 7.9, the following requirements apply. In zone 0, no fixed electrical equipment shall be installed. In zone 1 and 2, only equipment as indicated in table 7.1 may be installed. Heating units embedded in the floor and intended for heating the location may be installed in zones 1, 2 and 3 provided the heating elements are covered by a metallic sheath screened or a metallic grid is installed above the heating elements and the sheath or grid is connected to the equipotential bonding specified in 7.1.3.3. Termination shall comply with 6.1. 16.4.2 So here's table 7.1 As we can see electrical equipment in zone 1 There's no distribution and control in zone 1 or 2 Only in zone 3 The normal provisions of SAN 101 for 2 apply A bell push in B, B1 and C1 in zone 1 and in zone 2, and the normal provisions apply for zone 3. No socket outlet in zone 1. A C2 socket outlet in zone 2, and the normal provisions apply in zone 3. A wall, no wall switch uh, in zone 2 or 3, but normal provisions apply for zone 3. Then in for the pull switch, all the normal provisions apply and distribution boards, nothing in one, zone 1, 2 or 3. Fixed appliances in zone 1, A and B1 or B2. Similar in zone 2 and the normal provisions apply with zone 3. And the symbols used in this table. So there's the A and the B1 and the B2, C1 and C2 that we stated in the table. You can have a look at those and check the meaning of each one of them. Then earthing. So except in the case of isolated supplies, an earth continuity conductor shall be connected to the earthing terminals of class 1 fixed appliances in a bathroom. If the following are electrically isolated from earth, they need not be earthed. Metallic baths and basins, metallic waste fittings in baths or shower trays, and other isolated metallic parts. Note, a bath or basin is said to be isolated from earth if the waste pipes are non-metallic and the tips are wall-mounted or bath or basin mounted and supplied by non-metallic piping. Note, a volume under a bath or spa that cannot be reached without the use of a tool to remove a cover is not considered part of a bathroom. A minimum height, the inner edge of a bath, shower or spa is the upper inside edge of the container. Zone 0 and does not include the leads of the bath, shower or spa. Under certain conditions, waste pipes have to be earthed. Yeah, so, but that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, subscribe and like and get the content of the next uh, special locations. We'll still look at hospitals and swimming pools and quite a other couple of special locations. Thank you.